Can I welcome the new leader of the SNP and thank you, Blackford, previously? Stephen. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to begin by paying tribute to my friend and colleague, the Right Honourable Member for Ross Sky and Loch Arbor, who has served us with diligence and duty for the last five years. Mr. Speaker, he is a giant of the Scottish independence movement. Mr. Speaker, he's seen off not one, not two, but three consecutive Tory Prime Ministers. Indeed, he was on to his fourth in recent weeks. And to that latest Prime Minister, I have a very simple question. What does he consider to be the greatest achievement of the Conservative Party in government since 2019? Leaving the single market and customs union, ending freedom of movement, denying Scotland her democracy, or getting the Labour Party to agree with all of the above? Mr Speaker, can I start by offering my genuine and warm heartfelt best wishes to the right honourable member for Ross Guy and Lock Harbour. I know, I know the whole House will miss his weekly contributions. Um, and, and may, and may, I, may I also congratulate or join the First Minister in congratulating the honourable gentleman on his appointment as a Westminster leader of the SNP. I look forward to a constructive debate uh, with him across the dispatch box. And Mr Speaker, the answer to this question is actually very simple. The things that we are most proud of in the last couple of years is making sure that we protected this country through the pandemic yeah. with, with furlough and with the fastest vaccine rollout. Yeah. Mr Speaker, far be it for me to offer advice to a near billionaire, but he's going to have to up his game. And here's why, because in the last 15 minutes, a poll has landed which shows that support for Scottish independence has now hit 56%. Yeah. And, support, and support for the Scottish National Party sits north of 50%. So in that context, can I ask the Prime Minister, does he consider that increasing energy bills on households in energy rich Scotland by a further £500 will cause those poll numbers to rise or to fall? Well, Mr Speaker, what we're delivering for households across the United Kingdom, including those in Scotland, is £55 billion of support with energy bills. It will save a typical homeowner about £900 under their bills this winter with extra support for the most vulnerable. And that is, Mr Speaker, an example of the United Kingdom and the Union delivering for people in Scotland. 